Hey everyone, this is Scott from Pomerol Partners. Something I commonly see in consulting projects is Excel being used to capture and consolidate information and then used as a data source for click applications. Now, we all love Excel, it's a great business tool, but there's three common risks we should be thinking about. The first is keeping files in sync when collaborating. There's the risk of corruption and errors. And then there's the effort to consolidate multiple files. In this week's Write Back video series, I want to take a look at a use case where we reduce our dependency on Excel and manage our data capture and final reporting all within the Click ecosystem. So let's get straight into it. We have a retail client with a global network of outlets. They run hundreds of product launches and marketing initiatives concurrently, and they need local campaign managers to submit KPIs measuring campaign performance. These are data points like sales versus target, customer experience, staff trained at each location. Previously, they would have entered this information into locally managed Excel files that then consolidate regionally and consolidate globally. As you can imagine, the process was slow, it was time consuming and prone to error. Using the writeback extension in ClickSense, we're now enabling the users to enter their information directly into ClickApps. So if I'm the manager for these three campaigns here, I can filter on these campaigns. I can pop open the write back extension, and then we can start to edit some of the KPIs related to these marketing campaigns. So looking at the top campaign, I might change my overall scorecard to 98. Uh, sales versus target might have increased to 105. We can reduce our return score here down to four. Maybe we've trained five staff at this location. And I also need to change my last visit date to the 1st of April. So once we've made our changes, we can hit save. Our data is committed back to our SQL database. It's loaded back into our Click app. I can see the confirmation message down the bottom here. And now we can carry on with our analysis or make some further edits on other campaigns. We can use Click's native section access and the writeback's own approval workflow to govern this whole process. So let's simulate this by splitting the screen here. On the left, I'm logged in as the campaign manager and I oversee these five campaigns. And then on the right hand side, this would be the regional manager view and they oversee this full list of campaigns. Now, as the campaign manager, if I pop open the write back extension and maybe I need to update my sales versus target number for these five campaigns. So I can change all of these to 95.5 I can apply this edit in bulk and I can hit save. So our data is being written back to our SQL database. Our click apps are being updated in real time and we see those values pop into the view for the regional manager and we can see them all there at 95.5%. We can also view the full edit history. So there's no debate or misunderstanding about historical versions. We can see who made the edits, the timestamp and the actual edits themselves. As a next step to operationalize this even further and staying within the Click ecosystem, we could use inprinting to kick off an email alert to a regional manager when a certain threshold is reached based on the edits that the campaign managers are entering. So there you have a quick example of taking a fragmented business process managed in Excel and moving it into the Click ecosystem. The point here is that we can use Click for more than just reporting. We can use it to drive a full end-to-end -end business process. That's where the power is and that's how you squeeze more value from your click investment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another exciting write-back use case next week.